What's up folks, Arctic here, and today I wanted to very briefly talk about the Halo Master Chief Collection and 343's announcement at Gamescom with regards to skill-based matchmaking for uh, that new game, Halo Master Chief uh, Collection, which uh, will be coming out in November. Now, what was announced was basically that the matchmaker, skill-based matchmaking, will be utilizing the same system that Bungie created back in, what, 2004 or whatever uh, for Halo 2, and so uh, this is often held as the pinnacle of skill-based matchmaker uh, for a lot of people in the competitive community, specifically for shooters. And I'm very interested to see how this kind of holds up. You know, I feel like people have this uh, nostalgic type of uh, uh, pedestal that they have the Halo 2 matchmaking uh, system on. You know, Skyless and I have kind of talked about it in the past for Gears, specifically saying, hey, we need a better matchmaker. And a lot of other games that we've played for that matter, hey, we need another matchmaker. And I feel like a lot of other studios have either tried to emulate or innovate on top of that. But I don't know if anyone has really hit the mark. And so seeing this system get put back in place is going to be very, very interesting because I feel like people are going to kind of get a wake up call uh, on it, at least for a uh, for majority of players out there that are still like, man, this is the shit. This is the best thing ever. Um, and I, I want to uh, and I mentioned this before in Frag Logic. I want to kind of say this with the caveat that, hey, you know, there's uh, there's the human element in any alg algorithm that you put in with skill, ba skill based matchmaking. There's someone that's always going to be better. Right. So I think what people are looking for is these forty nine uh, to fifty or uh, five to four type matches that are always going to occur every single game they play, and that's just not going to happen. It's statistically impossible to happen. So uh, you know, I, I I can't help but be a little weary about uh, you know how fans are going to react to it. I think initially they're going to be excited, and then they might realize that uh, oh, it's not all rainbows and lollipops. Uh, once once it gets kicked in. Nevertheless, I'm very excited that 343 is actually throwing it in there. It makes me wonder what they're thinking about for Halo 5 with regards to skill-based matchmaking and if they can actually innovate and make this better uh, or make it a better experience for Halo 5 after coming out of the Master Chief Collection and collecting all this data on uh, if this matchmaker is actually the cream of the crop, the best thing ever. Um, I'm really hoping that Halo fans... Uh, that end up getting a Master Chief Collection stay true to themselves and honestly analyze this matchmaker. I certainly will. People, I do have it up on a pedestal, but I, you know, my expectations now with all of the other games that I've played from, you know, MOBAs to shooters to anything that basically pits people uh, against uh, opponents, uh, be it StarCraft or whatever through their system. Uh, you know, I know that there's there's the human element, right? Like I might think I'm the best player ever and then I get paired against someone in my tier and then they beat the shit out of me. So <laughs> it's completely within the realm because we're all human. So uh, I'm very, very interested to hear what you guys have to say about it. And uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Be looking for your comments. And until the next time, guys, I will catch you later. Stay frosty.